What is up everyone? Welcome to Crypto Capital Venture. A little change of scenery. I just want to have a, a chat. I want to have a crypto chat with you as we start this week. I, I woke up with some thoughts on my mind in regards to crypto markets, Bitcoin, Cardano, every other altcoin. We're in a dip. We're in, a, we're in the red. <laughs> it's funny how when we're in the green, we're, we're just enjoying it, right? And, and I, see, I see the sentiment on crypto Twitter and, and crypto YouTube, 10%, 20% plus days for certain cryptos that lead into like 50% plus weeks in the green. Everybody's just loving it. They're enjoying it. They're just along for the ride. They're positive. They're optimistic on crypto in general. And then just like that, at the flip of a switch, it's the inverse of it, right? Crypto just starts tanking and it's in the red and all the gains that we just saw, and Cardano is a really good example of this in like the last week or so, all the gains that we just saw completely out the window. <laughs> now, whether we're up or down, I've realized over the years, and I, I've really, I wanna encourage you with this. I've realized over the years, one simple thing, just get used to it. Get used to it. When we're used to it, we're leaving all of the emotionality out of crypto. Meaning if it's in the green, yeah, we can, we can enjoy it, right? We can definitely enjoy it, but we're used to it. We've seen it. We're prepared for it. We, we know it. It's commonplace to us. And at the same time, when we're in the red, we're used to it. It's commonplace to us. And it is commonplace. These dips, the dip that we're in right now is literally nothing new in the crypto space. So it's best for all of us to get used to it and to be used to it. Because when we're used to it, we can plan. We, we, we go into any scenario, any situation, and we have a plan. We've, we've formulated a plan. There's no emotion, mo emotional attachment to the markets. And when that is done, it's the most powerful leverage that we can have in this crazy volatile market. There is a lot, there's a lot more potential downside in play. I'm not saying I want it to happen. I'm not even saying I think it's definitely gonna happen. I kind of do think it's gonna happen. But for instance, let's take Bitcoin for, for instance. If you look at the COVID swing low, that hit the 200 week moving average right around that general vicinity, I think even below it. Uh, when we hit the bear market low, that hit the 200 week moving average. And, and these things are like macro higher lows in an uptrend on the long-term charts. If that happened again, the 200 week moving average for Bitcoin right now sitting at around nineteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000. So if that could be a potential higher low area, and I know a lot of you out there are like, dude, there's no way Bitcoin's falling to $20,000. There's too much demand. There is a lot of demand, but I, I tell you, there's a lot of manipulation and there's a lot of volatility. And oftentimes crypto does a more parabolic move then we anticipate, right? So all time highs sometimes look a little crazier than what we thought was possible. And then these swing lows, these higher lows could look a little crazier as well to the downside. And I'm, again, I'm not saying it's definitely gonna happen. Obviously I have no idea, but the case is there for it, especially as we see financial, we see traditional financial markets seeing downside. What if this leads to a mid a midterm type of uh, correction, a midterm type of retracement. There's a lot of talks about rising interest rates, right? That's one thing l leading into uh, the the fear, and the uncertainty, and the doubts. Rising interest rates, and and if there are if there are rising interest rates, and and really truly the circulation of money slows down in the economy, what could that do to to markets? Not just crypto, but to markets. It could bring things lower. Uh, I don't think it would get so bad. I think I think if it got too bad, they would probably reverse it and lower interest rates again, and and maybe there will be a recovery and we just continue up. But that's the point. None of us know what's going to happen. We really don't know what's going to happen. So when we're thinking about all of these things and the potential downside for crypto, if we could just get used to every scenario, it really doesn't matter in the short term what's what's happening, because we have a plan for every scenario. Cardano. It, pl it really plays into the case of a nineteen twenty thousand dollar Bitcoin. Cardano's target of around 50 cents, we have been talking about on the YouTube channel from just a technical charting perspective. There's a target down there potentially in the 50 cent range. 
And that's like a big, that's a, that's a continued big dip and a huge long-term correction because we've already been in a few months of correction for Cardano. This could be a huge correction. But with this red comes opportunity because guess what? This is my opinion. Crypto is still so early. Bitcoin is still so early. Cardano, so early. I mean, the protocol is still developing. It's still growing. 2022, if the next few months lead to a dip, I mean, for Cardano, 2022 is an epic year of optimization. It's an epic year of growth. Remember, scalability and governance are focuses for Cardano this year, 2022. Go check out the interview I did with Charles Hoskinson, everything that is being worked on to make sure that Cardano scales appropriately, right? And these dApps that are entering the ecosystem can, can launch and grow effectively. This, this Cardano ecosystem is, is, hasn't even exploded yet. It's getting ready to. So when you see something like Cardano down, what, over 60% now from its all-time high, and you see potentially more downtrend in play, it doesn't look good on the charts, on these midterm charts. I get that, but it looks good on the macro. It looks good from an opportunity perspective. You don't want to buy all-time highs, everybody. You don't want to buy into the green. You want to buy the fear that is there in the markets. You want to buy you know, when markets are down and there's a huge correction, but the network, the protocol, the project, the community, the blockchain, everything is just growing and getting ready to grow. This is early stage stuff in a very, very volatile market. So again, with Bitcoin, with Cardano, with other altcoins, get used to it. Get used to what's going on because this is what crypto has done. It is so commonplace for what crypto is doing right now. This is nothing out of the ordinary, everybody. So as we sit here and we start this new week, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I have no idea what's ahead. You have no idea what's ahead for this week with crypto markets. It could be amazing gains to the upside. Maybe this is it. We bounce from here to the upside. New all-time highs in the next three weeks. I don't know. But get used to it. Either way, prepare for every scenario. Understand there is a case for crypto to keep going down, but be ready for it. That's all. And on top of that, there is just a lot of opportunity in the crypto markets in general right now. And I would like to start exploring other altcoins, other projects, other ways to build in the crypto ecosystem. And I think these times, and I've really truly built a, a big part of crypto capital venture in the last bear market. And there was not a lot of engagement. Things were very quiet. We might be entering or already have entered a very similar environment. I encourage you, build, brainstorm, find out what that looks like for you. All of our approaches are so different, everybody. We have different goals. But one thing is true, I think opportunity is all around us. So that's my thought as we start this week. I hope you have a beautiful Sunday. Uh, I pray that God blesses each and every one of you as we go into this week. I'll see you in the next video. God bless.